Uh, right underneath section four, the second paragraph, it says, Congress shall assemble at least once in every year. Why do they write that? How long is Congress in session right now? All year long. All year long. I mean, you know, 11 and a half months a year. They take two weeks in December to go to the Bahamas with their secretary. So why is Congress in session so long? Or rather, why did the, uh, the Founding Fathers feel a necessity to write, you must get together once a year? What difference does it make? They're there all the time. Well, maybe they didn't expect Congress to be there all year <laughs> long. What is Congress supposed to do? Where is that listed? It's listed in Section 8. Let's go to uh, page 23. In the middle of the page in your book, little booklet, con uh, Constitution booklet, says Section 8. Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes, duties, imposts, and excises every April 15th for anything they want. <laughs> Isn't that what your book says? I have a different copy? What does your book say? To lay and collect duties, imposts, and excises, to pay the debts, provide for the common defense, and general welfare. End of story. If they are collecting taxes for anything other than that, it's unconstitutional. They can't do that. Now, Section 8 gives a list of 18 things that Congress is permitted to do. It's a privilege that we give them. Let's look at some of them. They can borrow money. They can regulate commerce with foreign nations. Establish a uniform rule of naturalization. Coin money and regulate the value thereof. Provide for the punishment of counterfeiting. Establish post offices. Uh, promote the progress of science. Uh, constitute tribunals to define and punish pi piracies. Declare war. Raise and support armies to provide and maintain a navy, etc., etc. Eighteen things. Those are the things that Congress is given permission to do. Anything that Congress is doing that is not in that list is, by definition, unconstitutional. Take a quick check. Show me Board of Education. Can you find it? Show me Social Security. Is it in there? They're unconstitutional. You can't do that. Now, they can... Build an army. They can build a navy. Okay, bang. You got soldiers, you got sailors. No air force. Okay. Well, there wasn't an air force at the time. When they, when they say, and general welfare of the United States, yeah, is that where they come back and say, here's education, okay. here's my... Where, what is general welfare? General welfare means that it's got to be good for everybody. For the like general population. That's the things that they specify. Michael. Like the patent office and the trademark <clears throat> office. Uh, those, those are the items of general welfare. They were That's right. Specifically. Now, um, handouts for food stamps or free housing and all that, is that general welfare? No. <laughs> not unless everybody gets it. That is not general welfare. That is specific <laughs> welfare. And that's where they've twisted these words around. What about public education? I'm, I'm opposed to public education. I'm in favor of everybody being really smart. But in 1953, we established the uh, Department of Housing, Education, and Welfare. During the 1950s, students in the United States were number one in math and science. Russia was a distant number two. We were so far in first place that we didn't even have to worry about it. Everybody was sending their boys and girls to the United States to get a good education. So now we've had the Department of Education for about 50 years. Can your kids read and write? If they can, it's not because they went to school. Currently, United States students are 21 on a, on a nationwide or worldwide scale.
We are no longer in first place. In fact, we are so far from first place, we can't even count that high. So, back to my definition of uh, insanity. We've had the de uh, Department of Education for 50 years. You want to throw more money into it? No, let's eliminate the Department of Education. Let's start teaching our kids something. Homeschool them. They have a, a national spelling bee every year. The last four years in a row, the winner of the national spelling bee was homeschooled. The last year, the first, second, and third place students were homeschooled. You have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out? Your kids are going to school and coming back stupid. Take them out of school so they learn something. Congress is supposed to, prevent, to create an army. They did. They're supposed to create a navy. They did. What are they going to do next year? Well, you don't have to create an army. You've already got one. You don't have to create a navy again, so you can cross those two off the list. You're supposed to create post offices. Well, okay, we did. Maybe this year we got one more. Okay, we've got it. Now what? Well, there's not much else they're supposed to do. Go home! That's why the Founding Fathers put in that article about you've got to get together at least once a year. How often do we elect our representatives? Every other year. The Founding Fathers were paranoid that we were going to go to Washington, get elected, have a big celebration, and then go home and never come back. They don't want the ship of state traveling without somebody checking in, and so they said you've got to check in at least once a year. That, all by itself, gives you a strong clue that Congress is doing more than they're supposed to. Go home! Article, or, uh, section 9 of Article 1 is a list of things that Congress can't do. Now, wait a minute. If we are giving you permission, and I've given you a list of the things that you can't do, Anything that's not on that list, you can't do, right? Didn't you, you know, you tell your kids, these are the things you can eat. You know, grapefruit, cauliflower, you know, spinach. Anything that's not on that list, you can't eat. How about M&M's? Is it on the list? No, then you can't do it. But as a parent, you know that a list of things you can do isn't enough. If you're going to go off to the store, you can say, these are the things you can't eat, and these are the things you can't eat. You can't have M&M's, you can't have Hershey bars, you can't have candy of any form, just in case you didn't know from the first list. So we gave Congress, just in case you didn't know, a second list. Section 9 says, these are the things you cannot do. Let me look at... Uh, Nine. Uh, number uh, on page 25, 9-4. Uh, no capitation or other direct tax shall be laid unless in proportion to the census or enumeration herein before directed to be taken. So we're giving po Congress power to tax. We already said that it was supposed to be enumerated, but we're going to go in and say, and you can't do any tax that's not based on enumeration. You can't. Are they doing it? Yeah. It's unconstitutional. Who's going to do something about it? Congress? No. It's our job. We've got to hold their feet to the fire. You can't do it if you don't know the Constitution. Section 10 of the Constitution tells the states certain things that they cannot do. Let's look at uh, uh, page 26, section 10-1. No state shall enter into any treaty, alliance, or confederation. Why? Because you're already in a confederation. You're already part of the United States.